hi everyone welcome to the coding dots so what we are going to do today uh, we are going to the most common question in android studio whenever a beginner start a project he always wonder like how to go from one screen to another screen so that is what uh, we going to do today so i am just creating a new project to show you this okay i am uh, putting name as screen navigation okay so everything is fine uh, just finish this okay uh, I'm closing the previous project that is already opened okay it could take time so let's close this one previous one okay okay so here as you can see this is our main activity dot java and uh, this is our activity main dot xml okay so we have two files one is xml file and one is java file so uh, what we will do today today we will create a button at the center so whenever we click on that button we will uh, switch to another screen okay so uh, after the finish of the gr uh, gradle build we will continue with that so till then i can pause this video so as you can see build is complete uh, if it will show you any error here you can uh, connect with the wi-fi again and try again while rerun the project okay so uh, from here i am going to activity main.xml okay so what we will do we will just create a button here we can also put uh, our navigation on this text view also but uh, always we do prefer button for this so we will go with this with that one only okay so just search button here and uh, give it a wrap content okay any anything you want give it give it any text you want okay i'm just giving it uh, navigate uh, okay sorry navigate to another screen okay and uh, now the time to constraint it so if you have not watched my previous videos you can watch uh, my android studio playlist to learn how to do this thing okay still i will explain it here also like how it is happening so top to top is meaning uh, we are connecting this from this top okay so it will be connected with uh, the parent only okay parent is these corners of the screens okay or these edges of the screen so uh, from left to left also we will connect we will connect it to the parent only from bottom to bottom also it will be connected to the parent only okay and from right to right also then it will come in that center only okay okay so we are done here we have created a button here and you can also change the text size if you want to okay so 20 dp or okay 20 dp is fine for me right now any id you can give it the id is my most important thing so with id only we can recognize this uh, button in our java file okay so whatever id you want to give you can give any name uh, i am giving here btn only okay or we can give it uh, btn navigation okay btn underscore navigation i'm giving right now so it is enough for now now just move to your main activity your java file okay so here you can see there is one on create function uh, these functions what are these functions and how these are working there are some more functions like on start okay on stop on resume and on destroy these are called life cycle methods okay you can check my that video also because they because these are the most important question in any interview okay so let's uh, go ahead and create a button here just type button it will automatically import the class here okay whenever you click okay okay so whatever name you want to give just give it a name like i'm giving btn okay so now what we have to do connect this btn with the id in the xml file okay so btn equal to 
there is a function called find view by id okay now you have to pass the id here r dot id dot what was the name of our id it is btn navigation okay so our work is done till here now what we can do we can just set it like this btn dot set on click listener we can pass new on click listener okay and it will automatically give us this on click method okay now here we have to write our main code okay so i will explain this uh, part very in very detail to you so first what we have to do first we have to create an object okay of our intent okay so intent intent equal to new intent okay okay so this is our object you can give any name to this little uh, small caps uh, intent you can write anything here okay but uh, always we use uh, we pre prefer this one only okay so here what we have to write now always we do write the activity name we are using right now like main activity dot class you can use okay uh, for the first and then put comma and then pass on which activity you have to go so you can just write any name we have not created any new activity yet we will create that so first activity dot class okay guys so what is happening here we are just passing the our activity in which we are right now and uh, we are passing the activity name where we want to go okay so first we will what what we will do we will create this activity we will go to file here we will go to new here and after this we will go to activity and we will create our empty activity here okay so here we can paste our name first activity okay and just finish okay so it will create our second activity like uh, that is first activity for us right now so don't be confused okay so in this activity what i want uh, whenever the person come here we will show him a text that welcome here okay so nothing but we will do the same concept we are, we are just using text view here we are just putting a text welcome here and uh, you know where we want to put this in the center only so the same thing i'm doing here also okay so right to right it should be okay sorry uh, right to right okay parent and bottom to bottom is also parent okay so our text is in the center the text size 30 db okay cool and the background we want as the this background we want as white color so we can put it like this white okay here also we can do this background as white okay cool so now uh, this error should be go now just uh, okay what is the problem it is showing just to rewrite it equal to new intent and uh, pass main activity first like in that activity uh, we are and pass the name of the activity where we want to go okay okay so uh, let's see what error it is showing cannot resolve constructor intent and equal to activity java length Mm. okay here you have to type main activity dot this okay so you can also type main activity dot this and you can also type here get application context okay so like this uh, you can write uh, you can create an intent object with this object we are going to call this function start activity and we are going to pass here our intent okay so uh, now if we will run our application when we will click on the button this button it will move uh, it will navigate us to this button okay so like this we can switch between the screens so let me show you okay 
okay so my phone is connected now and uh, i'm just running it if you don't know how to connect your phone with this uh, so you can just uh, go to my usb navigation uh, debugging video sorry usb debugging video there is uh, there it is there so you can see how can you connect phone with the android uh, android studio okay okay guys so our app is running here and now when we will click here it will move us to here okay in the next screen so you all are wondering now ki why the welcome text is not coming here because of the color i guess we didn't give it any color right now so okay let's give it color and then rerun it okay let's see so now as you all can see the welcome text is here so this was just a two minute process guide guys uh, but i tried to explain it as much as i can as i can so thank you for watching this video please do subscribe us and you can check our channel there are playlist for android studio there are playlist for the project also you can go with our channel and if you like the content please do subscribe and do like this video thank you so much